Thank you, Kari. Korean markets are pointing to a higher open. Kospi looking at a slightly higher open this morning. I'm watching the retailers and fashion names today. Uh, we saw this sector really outperform the broader index last week with Chela Industries leading this sector higher with its earnings coming in above expectations and also Hansom, a uh, five straight days of gains for Hansom. And local analysts, including Kyobo Securities, uh, came out with a report saying that its new brands that it will be launching it will mean a 22% growth in operating profit profit for Hansom for this year. Uh, they are saying they expect that Hansom's move into distribution through Hyundai department stores for its three new brands coming out this year to help its earnings. And also they are saying they expect consumers to move towards higher quality fashion uh, buying this year away from the spa brand the trend that we saw last year. So I'm watching the fashion names today. And also another name to watch today, a major retailer here, Eland Group. Uh, this uh, group is also a fashion name as well. And it's also in the FMB and hotel space as well. Elan has started constructing an integrated logistics center in China, in Shanghai, along with a training institute there as well. And this logistics center is the biggest project approved by the Chinese authorities to a foreign company in a major city in China, and the project is valued at 200 billion won. Elan says that this logistics center will be its hub to ship to Taiwan, Hong Kong, China uh, markets, and also they're saying this training institute will train 30,000 Chinese employees for Elan Group. They say they will also use this as a technical support center uh, going forward. So this is a big uh, investment for Elan Group, so I'll be watching this name as well, and we'll bring you the opening numbers for Seoul and Tokyo when Squawk Box returns. Stay with us.